Allen Theaters, a documentary about the Staten Island Comedy Show, and they want us to come back to New York to do another show? Okay, I gotta get in touch with Saki first. Bye. Where's that sock? Hello, Saki? Yeah, they released the movie Bottom Feeders, the documentary about the Staten Island Comedy Show. The fans are going crazy. They want us to come back to Staten Island and do another show. You're on a cruise ship? Really? Okay, you'll meet me at the beach tomorrow at 12 noon? Okay, see you then. Where is that sock? What the hell? Saki, we gotta go back to Staten Island to do the comedy show because this bottom feeder movie came out. The fans are going crazy. They want us. They're demanding us. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Staten Island Comedy Show with your host, Nevin Cummings, and co-host, Mike Buschetti. Tonight's guests, Sal Coladonato, Antonio Gerardo, Craig Cardazone, Rob Cardazone, Joan Weisblatt, Dee Marie, Tom Padovino, and I'm your Announcer, bodybuilder Bob. Take it away, Freddie Kasha. show for you tonight so stay tuned we got a musical guest we don't have any music oh we do have a musical yes. guest we have a Roland. Oh, yeah, Roland. Uh, uh, Frankie right Frankie yeah, uh, yeah Frank James Frank James and we have a Roland it's a music it's a it's original, a, it's a original song song it's a religious song a very first gospel, time on the gospel, scene on the Staten Island gospel, comedy yeah, show really. gospel right yeah it's stay tuned for that Staten Island Yes. But you know what, Freddie? Oh, we got a lot of comedians tonight. You know that. I don't have to keep reminding you. Every show, I did this 87 times, for God's sakes. 87 so, times. But anyway, uh, Freddie, you know what? Why? This, this guy's dying, right? And his, his wife is there, and uh, the, the wife comes out and says to, to the, uh, the, the guy says to the wife, listen, hon, you've been through, uh, I'm dying now. You've been through all the, uh, my hardships, and you know, you were there when, when my business tanked. You were there. When, when my car was, 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 was got into an accident and I was in the hospital. You were there when I broke my legs. You were, you were there when we went bankrupt. And, and now that you're sitting here on, on my deathbed and I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm dying, uh, you, you, know, you know what I think, hon? And she said, no, what do you think? And he's, he said, I think you're bad luck. <laughs> Yeah, bad luck, Fred. Bad luck. <laughs> so anyway, the, the bottom feeder movie is out. I uh, just want to let you know to go to the, the website, 
bottomfeedersthemovie.com. You can watch the Bottom Feeder movie. It's all about the Staten Island Comedy <laughs> Show. It's a documentary about the show, the ins and outs, the funny things from behind the scenes. You got Freddie in there, you got Bodybuilder Bob, you got Mike Bichetti, you got, everybody's on it. So, I mean, forget it, you'll love it. They love it, we were at the premiere last year. Everybody big loved the movie. 200 people were dying laughing. Big turnout, big turnout. Big turnout. We sold out. We got the Viewer's Choice oh, Awards, Staten wow. Island. We got the Viewer's Choice Awards. And that's it. That's the only award we got. Because we're <laughs> bottom feeders. <laughs> we should have got the bottom feeder award. But anyway, Freddie Kasha, take us away! Of the show. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. You know what it is? I, I went into a time lapse. <laughs> oh, you were like Saki on the beach. You no, like, I, was, I, I was still into the movie. I, I thought I was in the movie. movie. Oh, okay. No, I, thought it's good, it's I, thought, I thought Fred did do it, though. Yeah, well, but no, I had to remind him. <laughs> that'll be sequel two. Be sequel two. Yeah, All right, yeah. we'll see you on the replay. Well, Mike Bichetti, your new the co host for tonight's show. Thank you, Nev. Mike was in the bottom feeder movie, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm right. pretty much for bottom feeder. Right, right. <laughs> Mike, tonight could be the night you become a big star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so how do you feel like being in the uh, the hot seat uh, as a co-host? It's kind of kind of weird being involved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. We're, okay. I thought there'd be more women here though. That's what yeah, we always yeah. usually have on here. You know what I mean? It's well, like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we have a sausage party, and sometimes we now don't. now it's a complete. <laughs> well, the audience is not a sausage party, but we are. Yeah. Right. 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 What about you? Who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but l let me let me do the first uh, first guest, we, we, which we have is Tom Padovano. I don't Tom, know. how are you doing? Good. Hey, good. Good to see you, Tom. Again. This is uh, your fourteenth, fifteenth time on the show. Something you're, like that. Yeah. You could consider yourself a bottom feeder, right? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> yes. He's not a bottom feeder. He's no, a cool. Yeah. He's he's a cool guy. Yes. He's top bottom feeder. He's, 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 he's top. He's, <laughs> climbing, he's climbing up the top. And, uh, All right. And you you wrote some uh, stuff for uh, uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield, Joan. Rivers, uh, Jimmy Walker, Phyllis Diller, some of the Whoa. people that you might know that I've sold oh, jokes Phyllis to. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was one of the, uh, from Ronnie Dangerfield, what was on the joke? Oh, uh, I, my father hated me as a kid. He had me working in a bowling alley as a pin. <laughs> 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 and my, my favorite one, everybody has a favorite one, it was uh, when, I, when I was born, uh, I, I came out and the doctor slapped my mother. Right. <laughs> I, I that was a good one, that was a good Give one. Give me time. Rodney was on for sh short bits, right? Mm -hmm. I heard he did stories as well. I don't know. I've never seen him do them. More in his beginning days, he did some stories, yes. But uh, I wrote one line as which was mainly what he did, anyhow. He's great. I love Rodney. He was God great, bless yes. He really okay. was. And the Staten Island loves you because you've oh, been yeah. on the most. <laughs> yes, thank <laughs> so. you. It's always great coming back. <laughs> okay, Tom, so you have uh, you have uh, some time for us? Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah. Tom Padovano! Here for Freddie again. All right. Woo. I just wanted to get you a little. Yeah, you always do. Movie, yeah, you get me in the mood to go to an ear doctor, which <laughs> got me in the mood for. But yeah, it's. Well, you had an earache before you had the. You yes, I did. Yes, I did. But it's okay now. But yeah. it's always great being back here again, all these times. I love doing comedy, but I've had a lot of jobs and some tough bosses. Had this one. Every day he'd say, So. Working hard or hardly working? I finally had enough. Snuck up behind him, wrapped my arm around his neck, squeezed it and said, well, boss, breathing hard or hardly breathing? <laughs> <laughs> had this other boss. If I made a mistake, she'd say, Tom, look at the mistake you made. But if she made a mistake, it was, oh, Tom, Look at the mistake we made. So I'd look at her and say, well, boss, look at the ugly dress we're wearing. 
Thank you. My hearing will come back in about five weeks. <laughs> you have to make up the, uh, the joke that time, right? Thank you so much. You, you hesitated. <laughs> yes, well, he never hesitates hitting that drum. <laughs> Anyhow, but <laughs> I, you, I don't trust people. That's my drum. I don't trust bosses. I don't I trust know. anybody. Like, I especially don't like that guy, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy on TV. <laughs> right? You know him? My pillow's the greatest pillow in the world. The greatest pillow in the world. Oh, yeah? I saw him in CVS buying sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust my relatives either, though I try to help them. Like I said to my Uncle Bocci, hey, you want to go see Shakespeare in the park? He's still alive? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, I'm telling you. And my mom, <laughs> like when I was young, my mom and I, we didn't get along. Like when I was seven, I said, Mom, am I adopted? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> and then I remember, gee, I don't know how many uh, years ago this was now, uh, I said to my mother, Mommy, I wanted a toy truck for Christmas, but Santa didn't get me a toy truck, and I'm very, very upset. She goes, oh, shut up, you're 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing about my parents, they, they didn't have much money, and they were kind of cheap, but every year they made sure I went to summer camp in January. <laughs> <laughs> Save me money. Anyhow, uh, and they wanted me to go to school. I hated school. I always got picked on like this big kid, this big chooch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> every day he would say, you're a girly girl, you're a girly girl. I said, I am not, I'm a girly boy. <laughs> I straightened him out. <laughs> I, I wish I was young again though. I have this terrible apartment with roaches. Have you ever tried to spray a roach with anything you have, trying to kill it, even if you don't have Raid? Like the other day, I sprayed this cockroach with furniture polish. It died and had a great finish. <laughs> now that joke deserved it, I'll admit that. Yeah. But you know, uh, I don't even, I, I'm feeling old lately. That's the trouble. I mean, I now have a fear of how going, old? how old do I feel? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I'm scared to go in a museum. I'm scared to gonna build a glass case around me. <laughs> It's not a good thing, it's not a good thing, you know? And uh, I went to the doctor res recently, and I said, doctor, it hurts me when I touch here, it hurts me when I touch here, it hurts me when I touch here. He goes, idiot, you got a broken finger. <laughs> <laughs> Would have never thought of that. Wow, twice, this is an honor. <laughs> now, I feel, so, is, what's important, you gotta have the right doctor, this is so important. Like my neighbor, Mrs. Sicarina, <laughs> she went to the doctor and he said, Mrs. Sicarina, you only have 10 to live. She goes, what do you mean? 10 years, 10 months? He said, 10, nine, eight, <laughs> seven. <laughs> Scary. Well, let me wrap it up by saying, if you want good things to happen for you, you gotta do your part. It's like my Uncle Luigi. <laughs> Every day, he prays the same prayer. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. So the sky gets dark, and a voice comes from the sky and says, do you want to win the lottery? Do me a favor, buy a ticket. <laughs> Is that it? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs>
I met Sal actually. It's kind of weird uh, through Facebook. Yeah, through Facebook. Oh, yeah. He has Facebook stalked him. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you from Staten Island? Yes, I am. My whole life. Oh, good. Yeah. He actually sent me a, a, a Facebook message to do his podcast. And a choice picture. And a choice picture, and I like couldn't make it the first few times. I blew him off, and then. A couple of other friends about here so now the Twin Brothers. I love these guys. He caught his own brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's later on tonight. So yeah, stay yeah, tuned. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay they, tuned. One uh, Rob, I think it was, sent me an email. I met these guys and we've been friends for over a year now. It's been great. Yeah, now Mike uh, and I do a podcast together. Oh, yeah. cool. Wow. And Mike invited me to a podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's called Americana. Americana. We just named it last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, after America. Okay. I'm looking forward. Thanks. Yeah. You're going to be. <laughs> You got to bring us some chicks. Oh, well, you guys are married. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard being a single <laughs> guy in this because I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to be married. No, no, no. You guys are very lucky because I, it's better to be married in this because you're grounded, really. Great, great, great. Woman, woman will keep you on the top, on the top on the of your life. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, where can they they find your schedule and stuff? Uh, the schedule would be. Um, It'll be at, at Sal Cola Comedy on Instagram and Twitter and at Slant Show. Oh, one quick thing, Sal. Yeah. Do you have any deep, dark secrets? I'm a homosexual. <laughs> 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 I live on Sun Island and I'm, I'm kind of okay with it, I guess. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. This is, seems to be a sausage party. I noticed me. your shirt. <laughs> 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 okay. So you, you have a, an act for us tonight? No. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sal. David, thanks for having me. Okay. Thank I you. always wanted to be interviewed by Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> 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 All right. So the only reason we really stopped by is because uh, I didn't really feel safe in Mariners Harbor. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> they provide really nice Chinese food. I got here and I have the taste of cheap egg roll in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here with uh, with my wife actually. Uh, they have really good security here. We pulled out my wife and I, and there was there was a man at the gate, and uh, he asked her my name, and I said, "Oh, there's a list. My wife's not on the list." He saw her, he said, no, it's fine, come right in. But the girl at the front, she stopped us right away. She wouldn't let her through. And uh, I wasn't about to leave my wife. She's seven months pregnant, you know? So she wouldn't let us through. So I said, fine, you watch her. She's going through contractions. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> hey, Mike, you want to come on up? I can't wait for Craig Carter's own. <laughs> yeah, uh, my wife and I we went to uh, we went to a, a food truck festival at the Staten Island Mall last week. It was literally the most Staten Island thing we could do. Every food truck on Staten Island was there, which meant there was no one left to eat in Port Richmond. <laughs> yeah. I love my wife; she's great. Uh, she puts up with my sleep apnea. Not a lot of people uh, believe me when I tell them I have sleep apnea. They say, well, look at you. How do you have sleep apnea? It's called central sleep apnea. It's considered a disability. What happens is when I go to bed at night, my brain tells my lungs, just friggin' end it. <laughs> my wife's a flight attendant. Yeah, it's, really, it's a really great job. She works for a very nice airline, American Airlines, not the one that kills puppies in the baggage bin. <laughs> That's United. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when we get married, we could flown any airline in the world, any airline in the world. So I started looking at the customer service ratings of all the airlines. And it turns out American Airlines is not the number one airline for customer service in the world, Nevin. Do you know what it is? No, what is it? It's Emirates Air. Qatar, United Arab Emirates, yeah. Wow. I said, honey, I can't fly United Emirates, you know what I mean? I'm the problem. I can't be the only white guy in a plane full of peaceful Arabs. Because by the time the beverage car came by, I'd say something like, do I have to hijack the plane? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm glad you guys laughed at it. You got to laugh at terrorism. It's not going away. We live with it now. But I think it's getting better. If you think about it, we haven't had any real big attacks in like 17 years. What do they do now? They drive into stuff. Asians have been doing that for years. I'm not really impressed. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right. Mike, that was that was good. That was great. Thank you, Sal. All right. So our, our next guest. Oh, it's a good friend of mine, Antonio Girardi. Oh Hi, man. Antonio. How are you? Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> to be on the hottest cable access show <laughs> since Late Night with Johnny P. Now that guy, that guy had some skirts on, you know? <laughs> jo Johnny P reminds me of Joe Pesci. <laughs> I love, I love him now. Oh, man, what's your, favorite what's your favorite quote from Goodfellas? Hey, Henry, hold him here. <laughs> oh, man. It's like he just walked in the room, guys. Oh. <laughs> It's an honor. A lot of greats have walked through here. I'm very honored. Jay Miller. Did Pete Davidson ever come here? Pete Davidson was oh, on twice. He was on twice at 16 years old. Jeez, wow, yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's, yeah. he's kind of a uh, hot topic these right, days. Right, he's got, right, right. got a lucky got, lady. Yeah, yeah. He's a, she's hot as she's hot as an oven. And not ovens only, are hot, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> not only <laughs> I like how temperature works. <laughs> and not only that, she's rich. She is. <laughs> More important. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, not more important. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, so who's your favorite comic? My favorite comic. I, I grew up. Uh, see, my grandmother had a legal cable, like a normal good Italian grandma. So I used to watch Carlin. I used to watch Pryor on HBO. Um, oh man, Eddie Murphy Raw was one of my favorite. Wow. And that stuff, you that really is like a staple of that time period because this stuff Eddie Murphy said that would. Get him instantly. Oh, like, yeah. Ruined career ending. And, and Tony was a character that I totally loved. Oh. But he couldn't really do here tonight. No, apparently my writing part was too risque for him. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I he can't got even, a birth defect yeah, on his nose. I, I, can't even, I can't even change a character. <laughs> I can't we even need that prime time <laughs> slot, yeah, guys. We don't want to go, uh, you know, after three in the morning. Well, yeah. I got enough trouble in Manhattan at two in the morning. That's when industrial <laughs> television's on, am I right? Yes. Well, Reruns of uh, Joey G Presents Sweet Sixteens. <laughs> yeah. well, I can drop names too, guys. <laughs> well, he is, to be able to say it the right way, the character is named after one of the Marx Brothers. That's his last name. Yeah. And his name is a curse word that rhymes with Sacco. Use your imagination, uh, people, in uh, cable access <laughs> land. <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> what's that? Where, where, where can they find your schedule? On Facebook? Uh, my or on my face? Um, <laughs> no, I'm like one of those guys, I'm off the grid. I don't know, really, you know, I, I've spent enough, I'm wearing a wire. It goes against everything I swear to my family. <laughs> no, I mean, you can find me on uh, my Facebook. I'm always open to making new friends like this guy. He has a great Instagram, though. Oh, this guy loves my food on no, Instagram. His food is I like cry a cutlet like no one's business name. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because, because I, I like I love Italian food, but I love Sicilian Italian food the best. My cut, my my brother-in-law oh, is. It's like unbelievable. Wow. You know why? Because right. it's mixed with you know the Sicilians. There's an old rumor that they were invaded by the Moors, so they got that good African, you know. Damn, got, I'm, I'm getting hungry. You know. Yeah, let's see. You know, and I'm, you know what? I'm even getting hungry for some comedy. So oh, comedy. can you do some stand up? Oh uh, man, I'll, I'll, I'll wing it a little bit. Okay, all right. I'll make a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they kept the rhythm section together. I've been playing bass for 16 years. <laughs> oh, the most impressive thing I could play, Freddie, was funky 70s porn music. <laughs> oh god. That's right. Bass, when you're playing it, other people are getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You look like. I love Freddie. He's like the love child of Ron Jeremy and Neil Perth. <laughs> oh, got a lot of talent here. Uh, but it's good times, you know. It's a big time in my life. I actually just became a parent. Me and my wife became parents. Thank you. It's a cheap pop here in TV land. Thank you. Definitely top five most rewarding uh, kidnappings in my life, for sure. That's how we do it, me and my wife. Uh, we have a little baby boy, Lucas. He's got his name right on her hip. I said, baby, you know how silly that's going to look in 20 years when you're a single mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You need, one of those, you need one of those people at Fallon to tell you to laugh at the cheap pops. You know, I'm an old school, you know, little Italian boy. You know, I had to teach my immigrant father Twitter recently, and, you know, he got the Twitter, and then now he wanted to learn Tinder. So I said, all right, Dad. He was getting there. He goes, but Antonio, I don't get it, the swipe a left. <laughs> what do you mean a swipe a left? <laughs> Only time I swipe a left is when your mother burns the lasagna. <laughs> oh, domestic, <laughs> the, domestic violence goes great on CTV. <laughs> don't get me wrong, pretty boy. My father's a righty. <laughs> oh, man.
<laughs> Nev, I was going through, and uh, I think your friend Saki got a little frisky in Hades on his trip. Because, oh my god, we got black Saki! <laughs> <laughs> Wants to tell the next joke? Is that okay with you, Frederick? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, Frederick Cassi Sherry, here it comes. So I've been watching a lot of uh, Italian <laughs> porn lately. I only know it's Italian because the casting couch is covered in plastic. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Antonio. Great wow. job, man. That's a, that's a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun here tonight. We really are. Yeah, y'all can still hear it, too. Alistair Weisenblatt. Joan Weisenblatt. Oh, Joan Weisenblatt. Joan Weisenblatt. Joan Leave it to the I know announcer. Leave it to the announcer, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not, it, I'm, that's why I got that's Bobby okay. Builder Bob here. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, Thank you, know. you for Joan? having me to oh, the sausage party. Oh, okay, all right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we... Must have taken a little And who's wise than that? I saw you there with Freddie, but you were kind of like in the drums and in the. Yeah. I didn't really see. That's the girl. Yeah, yeah. That's me. It's a bottom feeder. It's me. Yeah. No, no, she's a bottom feeder. You're very sweet, and we love hot women come here to visit us. Oh, thank you. Wow, you are really bottom feeding tonight. You're at the top of your game tonight, Mike. Machete is really bottom feeding tonight. He's fitting the, he's fitting I'm, the title. I'm not, I'm not a pervert. I'm usually a nice guy. Oh, I know, Mike. That's the one. So, Joan, who was your favorite comic? Um, I love Sarah Silverman. I love Joan Rivers. Oh, um, I love Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, I like Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. He's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I, I love those guys. Oh, great. Yeah, great. it's wonderful. Joe, so where, where did you start comedy? I started comedy eight years ago. I had been a lawyer for 30 years. Wow. And um, wow. after I retired, I went to comedy school, and I said, wow, this is really fun, and I've been doing it ever since. Yeah, but that's great, though, because, like, from a law background, you know the whole business contracts, if you get something, you Don't know worry, you're trying to, like, Pull a fast one on well, you, know what I mean? Someone's trying to screw me over. It's all, that's the best. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, no, you. Every, every comedian should be a lawyer. No, definitely, easily. <laughs> yes. <No. laughs> well, I got rear-ended coming in, so I'll, you know, yeah. can you help me? Uh, no, <laughs> not a chance. No, okay. no, no. No, you don't do bottom feeders, huh? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't do bottom feeders. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who are lawyers. I'm that, under the bottom You're under the bottom feeders. <laughs> there were a couple of people who were lawyers that were, that were good, became successful comics, right? Greg Giraldo was a lawyer for That's a while. Right. Look what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but another comic uh, named Mike Sweeney, he's a writer for uh, Cone. He's a, he was a lawyer, so you're in some great company. Yes, there are a lot of us. Okay, great. Yeah. And, uh, and where, where can they find your schedule? Uh, JoanWeissBlackComedy.com. Okay, great. And you have an act for us tonight? I certainly do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to be here. I'm from New Jersey. And in fact, I live in a very, very rural part of New Jersey. In fact, it's so rural that I live next door to a pig and I can't stand her husband either. So um, yeah, so that's, that's basically uh, where I'm from. And uh, you know, there are times when, um, oh, I don't know, the, drum just completely threw me off, but that's okay, Freddie. I'm, I'm I just have to get used to that. I, I guess after well, a while it'll, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about my family. So I have a husband, two children, two parents, and two in-laws, which is exactly the same thing as being the single mother of seven children. Now, my parents and my in-laws are very, very good friends with each other, and in getting to know each other, they found out that their parents are from the same exact little part of Austria, and they themselves are from the same little area of the Bronx. So I was not surprised to find out that my husband is my brother. <laughs> <laughs> now, he and I have been married for 32 years, and some of my friends got together and they bet me that this marriage was not going to last. And here we are, 32 years later, still married, only because I hate to lose a bet. <laughs> now, uh, you know, my, so 
32 years, it's a long, long time to be married. We have our arguments just like all married couples, and I get mad at him from time to time, and if I have a doctor's appointment on a day that we've had a fight, I go to the doctor's office, and I have to fill out a form, I don't check off married, I write in very annoyed. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get used to that. Yeah. So sex can be very, very boring after 32 years. And we decided to make things a little bit spicy in the bedroom. And we decided that we can think about whatever we want when we're making love. And I know that when we're making passionate love that my husband is fantasizing that the New York Yankees are in the World Series. <laughs> but I feel but I don't really care, because when we're making love, I pretend I'm banging Aaron Judge. <laughs> <laughs> I told my husband about my fantasy. This was a big mistake. He said, I don't want you banging Aaron Judge. I want you banging Yogi Berra. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at him. I said, I thought I was. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about my mother. I love to talk about my mother. So my mother is really something. I, I just bought a new car, and I told my mother I got a new car, and she says, oh, really? She says, I hope you didn't get a blue car, because a blue car, I just don't like the color blue. I said, no, Ma, I didn't get a blue car. Well, I hope you didn't get a white car, because a white car looks like an ambulance. I said, no, Ma, I didn't get a white car. I, I, she said, did you get a black car? I hate a black car because a black car shows all the dust. I said, no, Ma, I got a red car, so when I kill you, it won't show all the blood. <laughs> <laughs> she and I do a lot of traveling together, and my mother has an artificial knee. And every time my mother goes through security, <laughs> she gets stopped and frisked. This last time, my mother breezes right through security. I take one look at her, and I see that my mother looks terribly disappointed. This upsets me. I love her so much. I know why she's disappointed. It's because my 89-year-old mother looks forward to getting felt up. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate when my mother is like that. It makes me so sad. And I went up to the TSA guy, and I said to him, excuse me, sir. I said, I really hate to bother you while you're fighting terrorism. I said, but if I give you $20, would you go to second base with my mother? <laughs> He said, Madam, for 40, I'll bang her on the conveyor belt. Thank you so much. Thank you, wow. Joe. Thank you, Joe, man. Holy Great Toledo! Job. Man, I haven't laughed so hard in, since the Bond Feeder movie. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can see, by the way, Staten Island and World and Manhattan and the country at bottomfeedersthemovie.com. You can watch the documentary of the Staten Island Comedy Show yes, that we were all in. So. Yes, and Joe Coburn. And Joe Coburn was well, the Joe Coburn, the Kathy Faranji, they were the film makers Maker. of the bottom feeder movie the documentary at bottomfeedersthemovie.com dot com. Okay. So with that, Buddy Builder Bob. What well, should, here I, I, am. What should okay. I call you? Bottom feeder Bob. Bottom feeder Bob. Yeah. Bottom <laughs> feeder Bob. <laughs> Only until I make it to the oh, top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now ladies and gentlemen, we have the comedy team of Craig Cartazone. Oh wait, and I thought I thought they was next. No, they're gonna go right up. Oh, I'm okay. sure. No, just cut it in any time. Go right up. Go right, right up. I thought I was going to interview them now. I mean, now it's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have Craig Cartazone and Rob Cartazone. <laughs> oh, the comedy <laughs> team. <laughs> Bodybuilder Bob, you're dropping the ball. Craig. <laughs> Craig. Oh. He dropped the ball. I won't come up as Craig. Can I, Craig. Oh, can driving I, the graphics I, department Craig, crazy. Can I introduce them because I know these guys. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I, I'll, I'll do a little time first and I'll sit down with you. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. The guy with the mic oh, is here Rob. You go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. The, 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 oh, man. The guy without the hat is Rob Carter's own, and the guy with the hat is Greg Carter's own. Yes. Thank All you. right. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. man. All right. Oh. <laughs> We're going to be a burst of energy. I can feel it. Yeah. 
excited to be here. Hell yeah, I'm excited to express myself. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's all it came up as Greg. I'm happy yeah. about that. There we on go. Cable yeah. network TV. That's important, yeah. Fred. Yeah, it's very yes. important. Yes. Right? I love yeah. the kosh. The kosh looking good. You're like looking that. great. You look like you <laughs> raided Robert De Niro's closet and yeah. casino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you watched you watched that movie and was like, that's me. That's me. He's like if Joey bought a Fuco can keep time. Right. <laughs> Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> the bodybuilder, Bob, I, I can't take my eyes off that uh, Bob. That guy's yeah. jacked. That's oh. a jacked old man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a ridiculously... No, don't hide. Ah, oh, you're hiding. I watched the, the video. Oh. You were like, veins were popping out. Don't get shy now. <laughs> Dude's ripped. <laughs> Dude, when you're like 75, you're not supposed... You, you live long enough for, to yeah. have self-esteem. You, you okay? earned it. You uh, earned it. He, he you got that right. way out, believe me. Oh, I don't think... Oh, no, way. <laughs> This guy, I, I love the fact that he's intentionally annoying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I used, to, I used to watch this uh, show uh, at two o'clock in the morning and come home drunk, and I thought Nevin was a mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> Then I met him and found out he is a man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you have a personality? Jesus. <laughs> ah, seems like a nice guy. He is a nice guy. <laughs> there he is. Okay. All right. Oh, man. You ever see two old guys fight? Ah, that is quite the tussle. It is. Now, yeah. Bob, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? All yeah. right? Yeah. When old guys fight, their first move is to grab the other guy by the throat. Yeah. That's their first move. All right? <laughs> That's how you know they're fighting to the death, okay? Yeah. All right? Their second move is a headlock. That's like their finishing move. That's like their tombstone, right? Yeah. Their last move is a mutual heart attack. Both done. Yes. <laughs> oh, what do you do? There we go. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh. I got pulled over the other day. You ever get pulled over and start dropping cops' names? You ever oh, do that? All the time. Right? Yeah. I'm like, hey, officer, do you know Delahanty? Played softball with him. Good guy. Good guy, right? You know, the Fowls, Falvey, went to high school with that guy? Good guy, good guy. You know, Big Sully, Little Sully, great guys. Got nothing, got yeah. nothing. Turned out they were all firefighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, man, nothing like bombing on Access TV. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> like two drunk guidos at home, like, yeah. oh, I oh, it's, whatever. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that one slipped out, right, you unprofessional oh, douche. nothing you can do about oh, that. Sometimes you swing and miss, you know? Oh. Oh. All right, I'll do one more, because this is Access TV, and this is Staten Island, so I know there's Italians just watching. Yeah. All right. <laughs> just go, that's me up there. Yeah. The one with the hat. <laughs> <laughs> This is every Italian family, okay? This is every Italian family. There's the mother and sister in the kitchen making sauce, and they're talking about the entire family, oh, right? Yeah. Splitting a <laughs> bottle of white wine. Okay, all right. Then, th then there's an unexplained old lady. Yeah, right? She could either be a ghost or a grandmother. No one knows what the <laughs> hell she's doing there. No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> she's she, she's ki she kind of speaks English, but the only time you really understand what she's saying is when she's using racial epithets. Right. She's unreasonably racist. Uh. I don't know why. <laughs> because she's just a pile of dust walking back yeah. and forth. Okay, dropping plates of ravioli. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> then there's two brothers, right? Well into their 30s, both still live at home, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> in my 20s, all right? All right. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Both are wearing little to no clothing, though, yeah. right? <laughs> wearing little guinea tees and short shorts. Mm. One's a cop, one's a heroin dealer. Why okay? not? <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> one's a tax uh, taxpayer. Sadly, that's the heroin dealer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Cops taking a beating. Yeah, yeah, why not? Oh, smack oh man. <laughs> All right. Then there's the father sitting on the couch, right? All right? Okay. And he's sitting on the couch, right, watching sports, and somehow, remarkably, is wearing less clothing than the sons. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. Just a long <laughs> cross and a Jets G string. That's, that's all he's that's got all on. <laughs> Right? Screaming like, this is my castle. Yeah. I wear what I want to wear. Right? <laughs> just one giant nut just oh. hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the ravioli. Right? He's like, he has gray hairs on it. He calls it like the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> 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 uh, who gives the light around here? I'm so confused. <laughs> What's going on? Do I have time for one more? I like yeah. that I out yet. Oh, man. I'm doing too good up here, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, clearly. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You're growing on me. I you're like you now. Yeah. I don't know why. Can't. Can't. Yeah. You're, you're adorable. 
<laughs> this sound like old man's like, why is that young kid calling the old guy adorable, right? <laughs> it's like, it's classless. Uh, oh, man. Uh, uh, I can do this one. Uh, I don't, I can never become a doctor, Nevin. Ah, the dream's over, right? Just <laughs> never. <laughs> right? With this tone of voice, doesn't read sympathetic. It no. doesn't. <laughs> right? I can't be like, you have cancer. It's in your boob. I can't, you yeah. know. <laughs> Jesus. Oh right? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll scoop it out. Yeah. You, you know. That comes with like a pat on the ass out of the uh, yes. ER, you know? Yes, <laughs> yes. That was too much? I don't understand, you know? <laughs> What's with your crowd here? I don't understand. Uh, it's prime time. Prime yeah, time. it's prime time, prime I know. Time. Yeah, yeah. Ah. You're better off going at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was your, uh, look at me, uh, listen to me, Nevin. I'm your demo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I come in at four o'clock, I'm drunk, I laugh at Bill the Bob and <laughs> <laughs> you and Bichetti. I mean, <laughs> you might um, hear it four in the morning, too. <laughs> what happened if he said he needs a ride home? Yeah. <laughs> When's everyone accessory come here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Look at this. The oldest. Okay. <laughs> just <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys were wonderful. Oh, oh, thank you. This is fun. Thank you, Greg and Rob Carter's own. You can see those guys on Facebook, Twitter, and all over the world. All right. Yeah, nice. And they, that's where they get their schedule? No, they, we do a podcast called The Slant with Sal. It's his show every Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, all you guys. Oh, together? so you do a podcast. Yeah. That, that's right. great. Yeah, the, twi uh, the pr twins, uh, Sal's, it's his show, Carlo Donato, um, Patrick Haggerty, right. Antonio's on there sometimes. All fun, good people. So, internet people, there you go. You get the podcast. Mike Bichetti in the group. No, it's them. Um, <laughs> oh, they're, they're <laughs> Sal in the group. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. Well, all, all part of one thing. It's right. like right. The, the comedy mafia, we call it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the okay. mobsters. Hey, very funny. Very funny. Oh, every, everyone. Everybody here tonight was very it's funny. It's great. It's so much fun, guys. How yeah, funny we're was gonna, it? We're going to mix it up. Freddie Kasha. You, you did a music video. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Did you forget? That. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gospel song, right? Yeah, the gospel song. Yeah, actually, Jimmy Jimbug um, wrote the song, and then he wanted me to produce it, and then I got Frank James, who is a, a great singer that plays all, you know, sings all over the island. <laughs> Hey, he was supposed to be here tonight, but he wasn't on the list. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> he, he, he couldn't got, get in. He, was only, he, he couldn't get, get in. in. <laughs> he, was, he was only here to perform. <laughs> but he, thank, God I, thank God I had Bodybuilder Bob on the oh, list. Wait, right? I got a phone call. <laughs> Never, I got a phone call. Could be oh, yeah. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis in the... Uh, yeah. Okay, Bob. All right, come yes. on. Well, let's talk about the uh, Bottom Feeder movie. You, okay. were, you were in the Bottom Feeder movie, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, you were Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, I was, yeah. And uh, the people out there, once they tune into the, uh, they go to bottomfeedermovie.com. Mo right. Bottom feeders, as bottom feeders, the movie dot com. That's correct. They can see you dressed up as the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's nice. right, yeah. I that's did a little skit with uh, Teddy Love. Teddy Love, right, right. Yeah. And he did his comedy. He was in the movie also. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. the bottom feeders were in the movie. That's right. He played my son. He didn't know it. That was a surprise. Oh, it was a surprise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And I says, oh. first I was the uh, Terminator, and then I was the Governator. And then I fooled around with the girl, and I got in lots of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and I should have been a masturbator, but uh, I didn't want to really do that, you know? So anyway, then I said, I'm here tonight to see my son. He doesn't know who I am. And Teddy, Teddy Love. Love yeah. Out. And he goes, Papa. He still calls me Papa to this day. All right. And Papa. you can watch that, ladies and gentlemen, on the Bottom Feeder movie at bottomfeedermovie.com. Yeah, but right oh, now we okay, have. one quick thing, right? We have. This is a primetime show today, right? Yes. What few words could I use to make a late night show? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mike. I, you, you, I, every oh, time Mike, you're on, you, you do want... stand up. I gotta go in the editing room for hours. Can't let you lose beep, yet, beep, Mike. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, but we, if we have that rolling of Freddie Kosh's gospel song, no, do we have the rolling? No, they don't. Have, they don't have the rolling. You don't have it. What happened? You threw it out. They don't have the rolling. <laughs> what happened to it, Sal? Okay, so, well, they don't have the rolling, but. Uh, Maybe you could describe it. Oh, no. oh let, let him do do a, do a, uh, uh, another comedian, then we'll. Uh, oh, get the, oh, you don't have it yet. You don't have okay, it yet. they don't have it yet. You know, this is you know. The let bottom him know when you have it, uh, Brian. Okay, so 
our next comedian, Dave. Hi, Dave. Well, welcome. Yes, honorary Negro of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to get here. You know, I swam across the, uh, the water. <laughs> water covered alligators and two Dominican gangs, but I'm here now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. All right. So, uh, who's your favorite comic? I would first one is Bill Hicks is my favorite comedian. Wow. Oh, Bill, Bill Hicks. Hicks. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. He, he left too young. Unbelievable, yeah, right? right. You know, that's part of the mystery behind it, you know. Sure. Part of the very big, but I like Bill Hicks, you know. He's probably like in his, like, 33 or 34, right, tops when he died. He was an incredible comic. Yeah, you know, he's wonderful. I still watch it, you know. It's great. YouTube, you can see all of it. It's okay. the benefit of Where do you, uh, where was your trip from? Where are you coming from? Yeah, I'm coming, I, I was born in the Bronx. I, I moved to Queens. I was actually coming from work. I was coming from Harlem, so. Wow, it's a long trip. Yeah. My mom was from the Bronx. She was from St. Anne's Avenue. Oh, nice. She was born in the Bronx. I don't think there was then either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I would have known her. Like, you know, <laughs> in the Bronx, she know everybody. <laughs> so now where they, can they get your information to, for your oh, schedule you and stuff? Me on Instagram or DMarie7154. I post everything up there. Or Facebook, okay. DMarie, same thing, D-E space Marie. But Instagram's the best, DMarie7154. Okay, and now do you have an act for us tonight? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm so we're trying to do something today. D. Yeah. Marie! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, DJ. It was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man, America is changing, everyone. You know, Obama is gone. <laughs> uh, a lot of people think because I'm black, I should, you know, be upset, but I'm not. I'm pretty happy, you know, because I miss blaming my failures on white people. <laughs> <laughs> it's been quite some time, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I did a show and this lady was like, hey, you using a race card. I was like, whatever card. MasterCard, I would use my Visa card, but I owe them suckers $500. So <laughs> we're going to leave that one out there. <laughs> <laughs> like this morning, I woke up with a toothache, and I blame that Checked in tonight. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like I don't get into the pockets. You know, me, I think like blood. You, I, I'm in the hood, so there's a lot of gangs. So you, to me, Bloods and Crips and Republicans and Democrats are the same thing. You know, both of them uh, represent flags. One wears it in their back left pocket, and the other one uses it to wipe their butt. But I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out which one wipes their butt with the flag. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm from the Bronx. You know. The Bronx is a rough place. I lived on a block that had drugs everywhere. You know, the Jamaicans sold weed, the Dominicans sold heroin, and the shoplifters sold Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, it's true. So, you know, the crackheads had no teeth, but their hair and nails is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, like, I moved to Queens, but I go back to Bronx a lot of times. You know, I seen a friend of mine. I was like, damn, homie. He was like, yo, you looking good. I said, yeah, that's what happens when you're eating regularly. You should try it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Bronx is a food desert, <laughs> but they only call it a food desert because all you can get out there is desserts. <laughs> 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 no fruit, there's little Debbie snacks <laughs> and Snicker bars on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's rough, man. I go back. I, I always run into an old friend. I ran into an old friend. I'm like, yo, you know where uh, Jose lives at? He was like, yeah, up there. Just go up there. I was like, up oh, where? That building over there? He's like, no. Up there. He was like 4D. I said, 4D, what, in the building? He said, nah, fourth car on the D train. He's homeless, D. Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> it's rough, man. You gotta be easy, man. I like, I like an Instagram. You know, Instagram's a great thing. There's a lot of beautiful women on there. But they be lying. Straight lying or whatnot. Like this girl, she posted a video like she's in a hotel and like she's in France. But she messed up because she left the curtain open. I could see a crown fried chicken outside the window with the light flashing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, France don't. <laughs> when did France get fried crown fried chickens? <laughs> so I commented, like, you lying. And she was like, you don't know nothing. You don't know me. 
And I was like, uh, I can see a tattoo on your neck. Obviously, you didn't have a father in your life. I know you were a little bit. <laughs> 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 Instagram is crazy. I know people like, I, was, I saw a story online, and this girl was like, yeah, you know, I built up my following, and I got a million followers, but I was still broke. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense because likes aren't like the dollars that you get in a strip club that you work every night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, likes are like, you know, like the stars you got in kindergarten. <laughs> I don't remember bringing, yeah, I don't remember ever bringing any of them stars to the uh, candy store and getting some Snicker bars. <laughs> <laughs> I think she feels confused, man. <laughs> but the Bronx is crazy, you know, the Bronx you can go it's either which way, you know. You could be out there and end up an inmate. <laughs> but if you live on the other side of town, like in Chelsea, you can end up a gay weightlifter. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a bad example, because either one of them situations, you can end up a gay weightlifter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I, I got arrested before. They had put me in a cell with some pro-black dude. You know, the type of pro-black dude, he wants to go back to Africa, but his girlfriend is white. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we sitting there, we get, to, you know, we get to know each other, whatever, and he's like, yo, uh, so what you in here for? I, uh, I was sold a little bit of drugs. He was like, oh, you're killing the community, brother. I was like, really? I was like, a couple of hours ago, you told me you went in for murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing the community. You literally are killing the community. <laughs> I might have killed a couple of brain cells, but not an actual person. <laughs> But it's rough, you know, you know, you get you get arrested, you go on a job interview, and they're like, oh, you checked the box. They're like, oh, I see you checked the box. What did you do? I said, well, I was in a supermarket and I ate some grapes. And the guy was like, you gonna pay for that? And what are you doing? I said, well, I'm having one of the basic food groups. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> and he called the police. <laughs> so the guy in the job interview was like, uh, so did you learn anything from that? I said, yes, if you go to the supermarket and have some uh, plums, make sure make some grapes, make sure you have a plum too, because prison food gives you constipation. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have for tonight, people. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, D. Great job. All right, D. All right, nice. So, so d wow. Do they have the rolling? They do. They have the rolling. Do they have the rolling? No, no right? Rolling. No rolling. Okay, so oh. we got a special thing tonight. What? Mike Bichetti is going to give us a little bit. Of oh, Mike, wow. you're, you're back. Let me He's go. back. Let me like Mike is back, <laughs> everybody. And let me and let me Mike, just an, uh, relax. Relax, Mike. This, <laughs> is, okay. this is your chance. This is your let chance. moment for the bottom this feeders. Is <laughs> okay, and, and this is everybody. Your big chance in life. Everybody, tune in to watch the bottom feeder tune movie at bottomfeedersmovie.com. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. That is this thing on? I think yeah. it's off. It's on. They can hear it. Yeah. You guys can hear me or now? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear good. me so now? Thank you, guys. First of all, how you guys doing? All right. All right. All right. I'm not your typical Viking, Pilgrim, L. O. Bean, Aristotle, Campbell, Sloop, Serpent, White guy. But I do own a pair of hush puppies. <laughs> 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 Before my dad died, he told me about my family heritage. I've been in the witness protection program six months now. <laughs> 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 what are you expecting from Staten Island? I'm Italian, so a lot of us <laughs> make our money in various ways here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm all, I'm all, in, Mike. No, Don't be nice. I'll be, I'll be nice. Nevin, Nevin told me no F yeah. word, no, like, talking bad about. Remember, you don't have you eyes know. in back of your head. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get it? I'm oh, yeah. Uh, no penis jokes. No, no, no D jokes? No, no. No, no. no. no DIC jokes. No, no. I can't say the last letter K right now. <laughs> <laughs> I no slipped it in. The censors didn't hear it. I said no it without. joke you yeah. told on Howard Stern that time. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But guys, um, anyway. I went to the, uh, oh, I had this date, oh, I just screwed up, Nev, thank you for throwing me off talking, you guys oh, are wonderful. Oh, sorry, thank, thank you. you. I, know. I fell asleep at a science fair, when I woke up, I found that I won first place. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I said to this woman, meet me at the library, so this way she couldn't scream when she saw me. <laughs> 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 you 
<laughs> you guys like that a little too much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I haven't heard as much laughter since I told my mom how to date. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last job I had, my name, my boss's name was Johnny Bags. It's not what you think. You guys are thinking. He was a handicapped guy pushing supermarkets, <laughs> shopping, shopping carts in the supermarket, and he's my boss. <laughs> Actually, he never should have been the boss over there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like, guys, to me, a bottom feeder is a cutthroat, I think. Is it? Well, well it depends on how. How, how do you want to look at it? How? how, how? <laughs> I th it's like they'll, you just, like, th like they send the guard for my favorite line, keep your friends close, your enemies closer in this business. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> 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 that uh, went somewhere. No, 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 I'm, I'm not lying because, <laughs> oh, no, I, but uh, I, can I do my impression of Joe Pesci now without cursing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Henry, hold him here. You <laughs> fake tough guy. Hey, Nev, what's your problem with me, your mother? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Your mother, j your you mother jammer? <laughs> what the hell's your problem with me, Nev? Why maybe come over there and crack your skull open with an ashtray? <laughs> <laughs> I love that I can see that when he goes, I'm just stupid enough to do that. You don't know what I do. I'll crack your goddamn skull open with an ashtray. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Down. I believe we have one minute out there. One minute. One minute. They're gonna do the uh, rolling here. Uh, and uh, okay, so Freddie, uh, you're gonna you're gonna Still drum roll us out, I guess. And, oh, uh, I'm drum right, rolled out. Right after I say goodbye to Mike Buschetti and Bodybuilder Bob. Thank you, our audience. You guys are amazing. Yeah, and, Give it up uh, for yeah. them because without them, there's no us. That's right. There's no bottom feeders. Oh, and no. remember, Staten Island, go on the website bottomfeedersthemovie.com and watch the movie for free on uh, the internet. internet. You'll see all the bottom feeders, me, Freddie, Bob, the usual. You're the, you're the king of bottom feeders. That's right. <laughs> you are watching the Staten Island Comedy Show!